Hey guys, let's do water signs. Now I'm not going to be able to see your comments or do any of that. So I think I'm going to go Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so that'll be the order and I'll do timestamps later because I don't know what the hell I'm going to talk about. So we'll see. All right. Now I'm going to do this. Hopefully a little bit differently than most people. But we'll see. I usually do everything differently than most people. And I'm not a psychic that does paid readings. But I do take donations at Cash App. If you find value in what I say and you want to give a donation. That's the Cash App right there. And if you don't, you still found value. That's what I'm here for. It isn't about the money, honey, honey. It's about the love. And I'm going to start with cancer. Because cancer is my sun sign. And I need to have a talk with me. Yep. I do. Now, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do like... Dove and Serpent Tarot. He's got a little tiny Bob Ross for a secret message at the end. I love that validation. He's a genius. I always give credit where credit's due. If I see a tarot reader that I thoroughly enjoy, I will. Like Mike at Mike's Tarot. Oh my gosh, he's awesome. I love him. And uh, Lumen Moon. And I think she's got another channel called New You that's focused on a certain type of Humans, let's say. Collective readings. Certain type of humans it takes to understand what that means, collective. Not very many people do. So. Dove and Serpent has tiny Bob Ross. But I have tiny tarot. <laughs> We're just going to sit these over here on this little, I think it's Amazon, I no, maybe. Oh. All right, Spirit. What you got for the collective kids? I'm feeling an opportunity in the wind, in the air, in the ether, in the whatever it is I pick up. I don't even know. I won't put a name on it. As I say that, <laughs> here's the hair of it. Oh. Anyway. This ought to be interesting because cancers, let me tell you what, healed cancer is a beautiful thing. Just like any other healed and balanced sign, it's a beautiful thing. They have an energy about them that's amazing. They, uh, a healed cancer is a healer. We need those. But a damaged one? Hmm. They're just mean, man. Just mean.
So, I prefer to be more on the healed side, and because of that, people like to try and damage me. <laughs> so, I know some cancers out there understand what I'm saying, so. So, my healers, my feelers, my beautiful cops, queens, empresses, and a high priestess like. Oh, look, time to celebrate. We lived, we made it through this last past nine years of insanity. Let's see what spirit has to say to us. What do you say? Spirit, what do you have for the collective cancer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it short, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not really a bad thing there, is it? Oh, I forgot something. I can't see that. Oh, <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> uh oh. Well, actually, it's a good thing. Um, this is. <laughs> this kind of amazing energy, believe it or not. Um, it looks all gloom and doom and bad, but, um,. I'm not feeling it's bad for some reason. I think there's a little story here to discover. But <clears throat> that sort of truth, huh. sometimes it seems like it can be trouble. But I don't know. And that fool. I think cancers are uh, coming to the end of a cycle of giving too much to the wrong people in the wrong places at the wrong time. Um, they take on burdens to help people. They do. I have a whole story about the ten of wands because we start out as this guy right here. I've told this story before. Happy-go-lucky, beautiful, innocent. As we start down our path of life, this is us. Full of faith and hope and love and adventure and passion and innocence. Looking at the world through new eyes of possibilities. Anything is possible for this guy. And then, because we don't understand the world, and we're walking along our road, we find a lot of people with this problem right here. Ten of Wands. They can't make it. They can't make it. They have to drop a wand. But they have to get the wand. They picked up the wand from somebody else. You know, other people who have taken on too much. Not understanding. Yes. Anyway, so that nice little fool offers to help a stranger along the road to get to his destination. So he takes a few of those rods, you know. Now he's got three. It's not that big a deal, right? Three's not bad. 
It's a perspective. Three of Wands is always a perspective, remember? There's a story about these two. I need to break it down and tell someday. But, see, this guy right here, he's carrying that burden. I mean, he's about there, see? There's his destination, he's gonna reach it. He knows the truth, he knows what he did. Yeah, he's tired, yeah, he's worn, but you know what? He knows he did it. It's okay, he's gonna make it. It's the end of this cycle. He's almost home to his destination. Happy, Shambhala, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, there's some regrets. It happens. But we're not gonna unpack and live there because Time to brush all that off. It's time to understand the power of the towers. And we understand it's time to bring it. Kind of like taking down an old building that's going to fall down just to, so we can build something more solid. It's a beautiful chaos, but if it comes unknowingly or artificially at somebody's ego, you have this happening. Well, it doesn't have to be this. And that's what tarot is all about. You know, we have a choice in everything. True story. I don't care how powerful you think you are, but you're only one voice. Fuck that. Your voice is important. Why do you think they try to shut people up? One voice. Martin Luther King was only one voice. But then again, so was Adolf Hitler. So, there's a lot of power in one voice. Don't ever underestimate yourself. I'd like to shut up once in a while, but there's just so much to talk about going on. So many people in pain and hurt and walking up this trail. Hopefully another fool comes along and picks up another burden for some of them. But this guy can't. He's about to be home. He ain't, no. Nope. He figured out, sorry pal, drop it and leave it or something, <laughs> you know. What you will owns you. Oh, look. Yeah, he's almost home. He's getting it. He's at the end of that bullshit cycle. Did any of them say thank you? Did any of them make it even? Who knows? Who the fuck cares? He's going to be home and happy. Oh. Yeah, it's a non-traditional view. But I'm thinking in this case, hmm, it's interesting. Because um, I I've been talking about like religion a lot lately and how they use our love against us to actually cause opposite of what they say they're doing but that's neither here nor there but what we have here is <clears throat> to me this ten of cups that's happiness and do you see any money there? You see any big houses? Do you see anything um, really happy is simple? It's not about it's not about the things that you can gain in the physical. The physical is temporary. Happy is eternal. That's how you make your mark on the universe. That's how you leave your legacy. And somewhere along the lines, we have all these ones. We're going to about to dump them because we're coming here because we've been non-traditional. The traditional is like this. Look what's in the background. Mosques, churches. Kind of looks like the White House too, doesn't it? Imagine that. Upside down. And the Ten of Cups. Ten of Wands. Hmm. Free yourself with the truth. Let's see what this one is. What is the truth? What is this for? 
<laughs> it sure is in these times, isn't it? It's being revealed. Oh, what they've been calling the truth, the traditional truth. Uh, they created the devil. We created the devil. We create demons. We create all kinds of negative shit that doesn't belong with ideas. They're discovering the truth of what we are, which is kind of also turning <clears throat> tradition on its butt a little bit while still proving it, which is the hard part. Because, I don't know, there's a lot going on and a lot of discoveries happening. Uh -huh. All right. Huh. This is about missed opportunities because we were busy playing with this guy, which is literally us in this world, the physical consciousness. That's the truth of the devil. That's what we're not looking at. There's a divine consciousness, which is this happy. And then there's a physical consciousness, which that's our understanding of it. But that's not quite true. Something you don't see about these two energies. So, we were judging and missing points of abilities to bridge these two. Imagine that. Because we knew better, right? We knew. We know. We know how to fix everything for 2,000 years. That's why everybody's dying. That's why they're tearing apart babies, pieces and parts, and putting them in their scrap bucket. Yeah, right. Mm, so. It's funny how the ones who go within can... See so much deeper without. Missed opportunities. Because we were busy carrying everybody else's shit. <sighs> made, and made some of us bitter here. <clears throat> made some of us bitter. But... We knew that, too, because we're fucking cancers. We felt the bitter come. Some of us decided to come over here and play with the devil some more. Grab some more burdens. Or give some more burdens to innocent people. Because we were selfish and wanted to go play around and manipulate. It's not a good energy to move in. But that's a wounded. That's a wounded. That's a waste. Being wounded like this. But it happens. You are so much more than this. But you are also this. And you are also this. So why are we hating any of it? Oh, so we don't understand it. So we don't become this fool. Because when we are this fool, it's going to be easy to see from that innocence. How greed. In this world, seems to be victorious. But see, the nice thing about this fool is his innocence. Um, I'm pretty sure that pack on his back is full of faith. And what does it say about faith as big as a grain of a mustard seed? What can you do? You don't look afraid at all. Go ahead. Let the fool see this. 
I'm gonna have some righteous damn anger. You know, the shit that they say don't exist. My ass. Mm. Kali Ma energy in Hindu. Ah, but so far, these guys have had victory. But the pool in his face, he's going to come rushing in. And he's going to bring that tower just with his innocence alone. Just with his simplicity and non-understanding, he sees more than we do. Or non-knowing, should I say. Once you know, you know. That's a structure. Once you understand, you have no limits. That's the fool. The fool understands he's full of faith. He understands that nobody has taken his power. And he, and he, he ain't about to give it away. Not on this journey. Uh-uh, not after the, no. He'll bring that tower. The fool ain't a fool. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to go another layer deeper, which I haven't had to do in any of the signs yet. But cancers are deep, and that's why when they're in pain, they're some nasty bitches. look at things in two possibilities because you know our life is a reflection of the truth of our di divine connection and well what do you think how much do you think it cancers love and the energy of creation can back up spirit when they give it they receive it and it doesn't have to be from these people because you know they don't really understand yet because if they understood they wouldn't be able to treat each other this way that I see here they'd be even though the message is non-traditional um, we need some non-traditional right now because Tradition's got us all fucked up. But it, I, there's a lot of things being revealed and a lot of things being torn down. There's some very evil people out there that uh, destabilize us. And they're currently being destabilized. What comes around goes around. That's the law. In big ways and little ways, this energy is seen. It's there for a reason. Because you refuse to understand this energy. You refuse. That's what all this is. When you refuse, In comes the idea of the devil. Disobedience. Disobedience to what? God, humanity. Mm. Same fucking thing. You. What you do to others, you do to yourself when you understand. I'm looking at, uh, mm. 
Mm -hmm. Halfway health plan. Oh shit. Mama's home. Okay. This is good because cancers, you have no idea how much the knowledge of your cup carries and when you don't understand the value of the energy of that love that the water signs hold. And we move in the upside down high priestess because it doesn't matter. You are a high priestess if you're a cancer because you're very emotional, very intuitive, very very, 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 uh, walk between the worldsies type thing. I don't know. Call it what you will. But when you can do this in this world, it's really easy to move in manipulation and eyes and you know this is not a energy of abundance this is like I don't know This is like a oh shit moment. Like, this is somebody who doesn't use their gifts for the right thing. It's kind of like borrowing mommy and daddy's car and taking it out and wrecking it. And it's an oh shit moment, you know. Now mama's home. And we're seeing here, and we're coming away from this type of energy, because you're still the high priestess. No matter if you're upside down or right side up, things can change in an instant once you see and understand. But see, here's the thing. Some see and understand, and they know exactly what they're doing. You need to watch these people. Don't just give your energy to anything, babies. Okay, there's a lot of these out there. Your energy is precious, don't just give it. And a really good psychic doesn't have to take it. So, if you go to a psychic and you feel drained or blah, 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 or you feel like you have to keep going back, Think about it for a minute. <clears throat> Please be careful with you. Let's see what's... Oh, here's the tower again. Yeah. That's a pretty clear message. Okay. We need to stop this. Those who are doing this, we need to stop this. Because you know who you are. You're stupid. Knight of Cups. Hey, look. Yay. Only this time he's right side up. <laughs> Thanks for fucking heaven. Knight of Pentacles. Upside down. You know, we've been moving in some really shitty ideas of love here. Scapegoat. Energy. Manipulation. Mm. Some of us, anyway. Not all of us. But right now, Spirit's saying, what well, you have what you've been given, the gift you've been given in your cups. That's what this world needs. Quit missing opportunities to bring the truth of that love. Quit missing opportunities. Quit daydreaming. 
about being loved and accepted by the world because right now the world is icky. You don't want to be loved and accepted by the world. You just want to love and accept the world in a way where they understand. And they don't need you anymore. And you can go live your life on a mountain somewhere with your little fishing rod and all your art supplies and your organic garden. And, you know, you're that kind of. You don't need anything. Spirit gives you everything you need. So, here's the thing. I have to say, Cancers, if you're acting and feeling in this way, like angry all the time or, you know, down and you can do some damage if you're not careful just tell the truth always because the truth whether I mean if it's if you move in the truth if it damages somebody that's not your fault that damage needs to be done to get rid of this shit People don't understand, and that's one of the things. Cancers never move in truth when it comes to, like, if, if, if we feel like it's going to hurt somebody's feelings, we don't want to do it. That's why it pisses me off when somebody pisses me off. Yep, I said it. Nobody wants to do that. Unless they're turned upside down high priestess, and then they feed off of it. So, be careful. Alright. Now, if we turn this upside right, because that's just a world to ender right there. It's like, I wouldn't want to fuck with that. If we bring the right message, leave the past in the past, there's the Hierophant. There you go. There's the full. Three of Pentacles. Everything shifts. Just everything shifts. And that's by putting spirit first. All right. Let's see what the tiny tarot says. And you guys, if you're in an emotional trauma and you feel depression all the time, please seek a professional. Because I'm not a professional on trauma. I just have my perspective that got me through a lot of mine. But I'm not a doctor. See what the tiny tarot has to say. Hey, hey. Okay, there's this time to balance the head and heart. That's where the magic is. That's where creation is. That's the magic in you, too. It's what that Queen of Swords showed up for. That's Mama. You have that. All of it. You're the maiden. The mother and the crone all wrapped up in one. Keep that in mind. Mm. I do believe that's Six of Cups. Temperance Angel. Most Cancers are abused Earth Angels. Really. And Queen of Swords, what was I saying? Balance the head and heart. <laughs> and there's Spirit showing up. You guys, as much as we take on that isn't ours, um... We're here to bring that love of spirit to the world so people can take care of their own burdens. And we do this through the innocence of 
remembering childhood. The innocence is what brings the angels. They're so protective of that divine magic. So is she, that's Kali Ma. But see, what we're doing is we're forgetting to find the God within in that innocence. So we need to rest. Think like that child. Protect that innocence. Bring that love. And that love is vulnerable, it is. So any cancer that has and is strong enough to bring it, yeah, it's going to hurt sometimes, but get over yourself. It's only pain. Don't be a wuss. We've lived through it. It isn't the pain that hurts us. It's our idea of it. It's a messenger just like everything else. It's what we do with it that counts. That's what I got for you, Cancer. I love you. We got this. This is a perspective. Oh, look. On the tiny tarot. I gotta show you. Oh, look. It's strength right there. What was I saying? We got this. I know it. You are my brothers and sisters. I love you. I'm gonna end here.